All right, guys, we're still outside Whiskey A Go Go, and now we're about to talk to Mary J. Blige. Now, she's the queen of R&B, so let's see what she thought about being in this rock and roll cult classic. Oh, yeah. Brandy. Oh, no, I don't fix my drinks. No, no, no. This is cognac. She's getting you a brandy. Here you go, Jackie. Oh, now you drink up and dry off. But remember, this is just a rest stop. I need a job. Do you dance? I'm a better singer. I don't need a singer. And you're a pretty girl. You want to make some real money? You got to dance. You also have to be tough, too. And you don't look too tough to me. I'm tough. It's not right for everyone, honey. Hey, then. I can wait tables. I'm good. Are you sure? OK. Start tomorrow. Well, I'm here with the proclaimed queen of R&B, Miss Mary J. Blige. I mean, and, and it, it's great that you're in this movie, Rock of Ages, because it kind of reminds me that before we were into R&B, we were listening to a lot of these rock tunes as, as a mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. How was how was the, the project for you? Just getting involved with it, being being in the choreograph scenes and everything like that. How did you? How, how did it feel for your artistic psyche? I guess. I mean, it felt good, you know, because like you said, we grew up listening to a lot of these songs. I was exposed to to all, you know, the '80s rock and pop through MTV. Mm -hmm. That's how I got to, to see and hear a lot of it. And um, it was just fun to sing all the songs we love by Pat Benatar. Like, you know, Love is a Battlefield wasn't in there, but we wish, you know, I wish it was. Yeah. And um, I, I just feel good to be a part of, you know, a cast like this and just a movie like this because rock and roll, I mean, rock and roll back then was just the biggest form of expression for so many artists. And the 80s was the big, everyone just expressed themselves like everyone looked different. The hair was different, you know, clothes was different, the songs were different. No, every, there was not just one, there was not like 20 of everything, it was just like one of everything. Right, right. <clears throat> Now, the director said that you could throw any note at Mary and she could handle it. But was there any type of, you know, difference or challenge for you to, to like, mm. perform some of these rock hits? I mean, I know it's not, I know you're a vocal artist, you could do probably anything, but mm. was, the, was the sound just different for, from what you've done? And have you performed with, like, rock, rock tracks before that? Yeah, I'm any way you want it was challenging because Journey, you know, that lead singer, he has a high, you know, kind of scratchy, loud voice. So I'm like, okay, how, there's no way I'm gonna do that like him, so I have to do it like like myself. Um, everything else was pretty much, you know, it's just cool. And I've covered, you know, rock tracks like Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven, and Bono, and U2's One. So I've, I've done some, some of that stuff before. That stage is a pedestal. And when you're up there, you're untouchable. And when you're up there, you can have it. Anywhere you want it, that's the way you need it. Anywhere you want it. Take destiny. She loves to laugh. She loves to sing. She does everything. And sapphire. She loves to move. She loves to groove. She loves to love the things. All night, all night, all every night. So hold tight, hold tight. Oh, baby, hold tight. When it comes to the customer, she said, Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. She said, Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any 
Rock of Ages in theaters and IMAX. Rated PG-13. Starts June 15th. Now, we see your music, you know, in movies all the time. I mean, we thought that you was going to get an Oscar nod for your song and the help, but yeah. you guys, it's a SAG nod and everything else. <laughs> but, you know, um, you know how, how, how much do you want to delve into the acting side and do more stuff like this, you know, that's like, whether it's a musical or just mm. dramatic thing, how, how much of a goal is that for you as an artist to do? I love it. I love it now. I want to do more of it. I'm going to ease into it. I'm never going to leave singing because it's what I love. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to do more. I like it. I right. like doing the work. Right. <clears throat> now, there, as a, as, as a, as an artist and, and as you represent music and your community, is there any like uh, extra pressure to be an African American artist at any time? At you know, as far as movies and music, do you have to hold up to some? You know, is there anything extra that goes with that? I, I I don't think there's any baggage or weight. I just think the we just have to do our best as people. Right. You know, besides being an African American, we have to think. Just we have to think. What, what am I doing? What do I want? And go after it wholeheartedly, heartedly, not just thinking, you know, because your, your community is going to embrace you if you do good. Right. And they right. won't if you do bad. Right. So right. you just got to really work hard at and, and know who you are and, and fight for your identity regardless to what's tr out there trying to tear you down or, you know, say you're this or say you're that. Just work hard and keep your head up and keep, keep it moving. I think that's the formula. I don't think, you know, everybody will. You're a great artist, great actress, and we even root for you no thank matter you. whatever you do. So keep thank on doing it. Thank you so much. It. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good talking to you.